Chicago police have now charged Empire star Jesse Smollett. He had claimed he was the victim of what appeared to be a hate crime attack. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes is live in our newsroom with the latest on this new development. Rob? Yeah, the Cook County State's Attorney has charged Jussie Smollett with felony disorderly conduct. He is due in court tomorrow. Now, take a look at this surveillance video from WLS, our ABC affiliate in Chicago. It shows the two brothers originally accused of attacking Smollett going into a hardware store in Chicago where they purchase items used in that alleged attack. Now, S Smollett is an actor in the Fox TV show Empire. He says he was attacked last month by two masked men as he walked home from a restaurant in downtown Chicago. He says the two men wrapped a rope around his neck and yelled racist and homophobic comments. But tonight, detectives say Smollett filed a false police report. Investigators say they've gone through hundreds of hours of private and public surveillance video and could not find any footage of the alleged beating. The two brothers, meanwhile, were seen today with their attorney at a Chicago courthouse. They all walked through a door marked grand jury. Afterward, their attorney said the two are cooperating with investigators and that Smollett needs to own up to what he did. I think that Jesse's conscience is probably not letting him speak right now, so I think he should unload that conscience and just come out and tell the American people what actually happened. Now, the attorney also said those two brothers were in contact with Smollett once following the attack, but she couldn't comment on what they all discussed. No update tonight from Smollett's camp. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Rob, thank you. And we have more breaking news. The self-proclaimed master herbalist has been found guilty of practicing medicine without a license. But jurors say they are deadlocked on the more serious charge, child abuse resulting in death. Eyewitness News reporter Marion Hernandez was in the courtroom, and she's live now outside the criminal courts in downtown L.A. with more for us. Marion? That's right, and so today we got half a verdict, but the jury only deliberated for two hours. So again, the jury finds Timothy Morrow, the herbalist, guilty of practicing medicine without a certificate. The jury could not agree on the other count. The uh, did Morrow commit child abuse likely to cause the death of Edgar Lopez. Now, the death of Edgar Lopez was a very emotional part of this trial. The 13-year-old had diabetes. He had been following the mental advice, medical advice from regular doctors. He had been taking insulin. Edgar's mother was also consulting with Timothy Morrow, who rejected insulin. He held seminars and promoted herbal treatments for every illness. There was testimony that Morrow went to Edgar's bedside hours before Edgar's death and told the parents that Edgar was experiencing a healing crisis, that he was on the verge of a rebound. Instead, Edgar went into cardiac arrest. Here's what opposing counsel told the jury in closing arguments. First, the prosecutor. He went right to the doctor. No problem. The only thing that changed was the defendant entered their life and into the equation. 